All right, y'all. This is Jerique from Jay's Auto and More. And uh, I just purchased two Rockford Fosgate Power Series woofers, uh, 12s. And the uh, model number is TOD412. And this will be the unboxing. up a little bit go up a little bit folks so we can see you there we go there we go going up there we go now there we go now okay Thank you for your order and continued support of Rockford Fosgate. Ah, look at that. Hmm. Ah, instruction manual. Not much to read. All you know is hook it up and bang. Little piece and chain swing. Here's this is specs. Optimum, optimum vented, ported, high output slot, loaded enclosures. See about the sealed. I like mine sealed, but I think I may run port. Hey, it don't have seal. What does it say? Well, that's the sealed encode, but in it. High output loader, so they just. No, they're sealed. They got one little section. The 12, 1.25, 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth square inches, okay. What's next? We got the grill, physical dimensions, trim ring screw. What's this? Ah, this is the crossover. How you switch it, unhook it. Mm. Mm. Specifications. The twelve. This is it. P. Seven hundred RMS. What else is fourteen? 14 max. Huh. Yeah, that's the sealed 125 again. Bended 1.75. I'm going to show you this box too. Uh, this box too that I have. I'm going to try them in the same box that I have. Well, let's see. Uh, this is something. Okay, the rest. This is the assembly. Okay. Enough of that. Ain't no need of me. Ain't no need of me opening up both boxes because both these are the same. They're the same wolf. So I don't need them. I'm not going to say how much these were because everybody knows, everybody knows Rockford Fosgate is a top of the line material, high performance. Uh, 
Oh, that thing is upside down. Hardware. Dang, all these is Allen wrenches. And they give you a little uh, a bit. They give you a little bit in there too. Okay, all Allen wrenches. No no Phillips head screws. What's this? Okay, uh, let me slide this back some. There we go. There's the big torpedo. Here's the grill. Ooh, wee, this is nice. Get the fire's gate. I thought this was separate. But this is all, all it is. And as you see, you can remove it. It has screws in it. See that? I don't know who would want to remove it. But you can. They have Phillips head screws in there holding it on. So. That's that. Okay. Let's put this here to the side. Put this off. It's back in the plastic. Now for the big baby. Set it on his phone with it, make it make the video okay. Yeah, it'll make it a little bit better. All right, take the plastic off. Take me a drink here. Yeah, I used to used to drink beer and vodka but man I I hadn't had a drink since November 2014 man sobriety rules yep but I'm sure people drink occasionally I guess but uh, not me okay back to what we got going here now Look at this. The T T O. It's the knockout. The T K O. Knock them boys out. Rock for fire skates. Get this place. Okay, and then here's the crossover feature two ohm eight ohm you unscrew it with that allen wrench and you turn it over and uh that's the crossover from two ohm to eight ohm i don't know how that work i guess oh that just makes it a two ohm speaker or an eight ohm so um, I thought most speakers are four ohm and two ohm, but sometimes at the shop where I bought this from, they said the two ohm and four ohm is for uh, the vehicle, speaker boxes and cars and trucks, but when you switch it on that eight ohm, that's where some people have high-end surround sounds with subwoofers um, with their... Uh, media players, TV, big screen. So sometimes 
just because we, the sound and speaker box community, you put them in our cars, there are some people that buy these and have them as a subwoofer uh, as the fifth or sixth speaker on their surround sound. That's what he told me. Okay, turn this over. Let's see what we got in the back. I think you look at it all the way around. That's about it. Nothing, nothing there to see. Would you look off in there? See that? I don't see no, as they say, tensile leads. It must be. It must go up through there. I watched that video about Fosgate. These are double baskets. So I guess it's, uh, it's in there between the second basket. Okay. Now, uh, it's just about over it. How long is this video? This is 11 minutes. Well, so the bottom of it. And then this one here. This is the second one I got. Second one, I guess they all the same stuff in that one. Well, I'm in this video. Uh, that's about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you the, the the box I have. I might put them in this box. I might not. Just a second. Yeah, and this here is the the box I bought for fifty dollars. They say they hit Q bomb. Q bomb. Fifty dollars. So Gosh, she will got my finger. Yep. So we're going to see. I'm going to try it out. See what it do. I say the e boxes. Boxes here supposed to hit. Q-bar. With this uh, rhino lining. Whatever it is. But that's about it, folks. Jay's out on more. Look at this. This is the setup. On the back. Got all this stuff out. All right, that's it. I'm out.